Brothers of Dust. Welcome back to another video. And this is a video. These, this is the um. These, this is a video when I just talk about Randy um Woman Randy versus The Rock and why the match needs to happen. The match needs to happen. It needs to. It has to. And I'm gonna do another video with a certain other person, let's just say he's a beast, oh, no, no, you know what, never mind, um, The Rock and Roman Reigns needs to happen, to close Roman Reigns chapter, to close Roman Reigns chapter, he needs to retire The Rock at Wrestlemania, this needs to happen at Wrestlemania Texas, this needs to happen, y'all might be saying, oh, why not have him fight Roman Reigns at uh in Hollywood? No, I think The Rock needs to go into the Hall of Fame in Hollywood. Just have him go into the Hall of Fame in Hollywood. This is who I would have him fight. This, and like you know what, scrap the other uh, video. This is who I would have Roman Reigns fight leading into this match. Honestly, this is what I would do. So, Roman Reigns is coming from a victory over. Daniel Bryan and Edge. Edge and Daniel Bryan should be out of action. Edge and Daniel Bryan should be out of action after concertos, after all these concertos. A lot of people say that we should get Cesaro versus Roman Reigns. I don't think I don't think so. I would have him I would have him fight people like Shinsuke Nakamura, have him fight people like Sami Zayn, have him people, have, no more Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns. I'm sorry. No more Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns. Who else on who else on the roster that could be put that could could have a a big push? And I would even have him fight Brock Lesnar at the World Rumble. I would have him fight Brock Lesnar at the World Rumble. That's how I would book Roman Reigns. Have him fight Brock Lesnar at the World Rumble, and we get a um show. We see The Rock um come back on this show and on SmackDown, and he's there to like just talk to Rock. And Roman Reigns is spare him out of nowhere. Roman Reigns is just spare him out of nowhere. And we get the match at WrestleMania. And this match, um, this match really sh um, symbolized that Roman Reigns is truly is the tribal chief and is truly is the best wrestler in the company. You can, you can build that story up. Roman, um, The Rock is trying to, um, is uh wants to stop all his madness with Roman Reigns and Roman Reigns is trying to um really uh signify what he wants Roman Reigns, he wants the Rock to acknowledge him as a tribal chief. Boom. Basically, new generation versus old generation. Don't book this fear versus um Brock Bottom. No, I think actually make this about family. Make this about the fam. Make this. Uh, truly about the family. Don't ruin it with your stupid ass booking. With it's a new generation versus the old generation. Who's gonna win? No, I would really put this. I, I would really have the story just um <coughs> just played out with family. Roman Reigns wants Roman wants The Rock acknowledge him as a trouble chief. He wants to acknowledge him as a trouble chief, and Roman Reigns says. I beat everybody. He beat every single body. He beat everybody. He beat Kevin Owens. He beat Daniel Bryan and Edge at the same exact time. He beat Jey Uso. He beat Shins uh, I'm, I'm just throwing out names. Shinsuke Nakamura. He beat uh, Seth Rollins. He beat all, all these men. But the one person he even beat, the, the beast Brock Lesnar. But the one person he needs to fight is Bro is The Rock. And The Rock is saying he can't do it no more. The Rock is saying that he he can't do it no more. He hasn't been training and all that stuff. And The Rock and Roman Reigns is kind of like I haven't I didn't add in and even The Rock is trying to straighten him out. But he said he he can't do it no more. Roman The Rock even said he can't wrestle no more. So Roman Reigns said, No, no one's gonna answer. I mean, uh, uh, it wasn't a question. I want you at WrestleMania. 
and The Rock is trying to trying to uh, finally end this whole Tribal Chief bullshit, and Roman Reigns is trying to make The Rock acknowledge him as a Tribal Chief. The, the Roman Reigns beats him. Roman Reigns beats him, and and uh, The Rock finally acknowledges him as a Tribal Chief. Boom, boom. I think that's how to close the the chapter on this storyline. I think this, this is that's how we we'll close the chapter on the storyline. Or if you want to do it for three more years, if you want to do it for no, a whole another year, add them fight at um Hollywood. I would do Rock Lesnar versus um Roman Reigns at WrestleMania um at WrestleMania 38, and we get the Rock and um Roman Reigns. But honestly, I would do this at Texas, and I would have the Rock going into the Hall of Fame in Hollywood. That's what I would do, honestly. But that's why he just fight one more. Like I'm not gonna lie, this is a little fantasy booking video of how I would I would book on um, one more range and the Rock going forward. And yeah. this match needs to happen. This storyline is too good for it to get passed up. The Rock needs should come back. He I don't think he's gonna come back though. He should, but I. I I really want to see him come back. I really want to see him come back for this match. This could be his last match. Because I still don't want to believe that Rowan versus The Rock was his, la- was his last match. No, actually have a, a match with Roman Reigns. And that will close this trouble storyline. And the, the next person that can beat Roman Reigns, Big E? Big E? I don't know. Big E? Um, um, Cesaro? That, those are the only two people that could beat Roman Reigns. Book those two up. Or you know what? No. Have Cesaro beat Roman Reigns next on, at uh, SummerSlam. Have Cesaro beat Roman Reigns. Have Big E win the Royal Rumble next year. Have Cesaro versus Big E for the um, Universal Championship. Big E end up winning the championship. Getting his moment at WrestleMania. Having his feud with the New Day. With this new Kofi Kingston, with this sadistic Kofi Kingston, with this heel Kofi Kingston, and next year he has a feud with Kofi Kingston. This is years of booking. You could actually, and I, and y'all don't gotta go off of my booking. Y'all don't gotta go off of my booking. Like, like my booking is not that good. Honestly, anybody can tell you that. But this match would would really signify. Roman Reigns as the top dog, as the top superstar. He's already he already is. But this would actually signify Roman Reigns as the next Rock, the next John Cena, the next Batista, the next Triple H. This man will be in uh in the same league as those men. Stone Cold too. That's how you build a, a big star with Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns should be that big star. Honestly, I would have him keep it for one more year. I would have this man keep this title for one more year. Don't even have him drop it until WrestleMania in Hollywood. But I'm not going to lie. You got to do this now. The Rock is not getting any younger. The Rock is not getting any younger. The Rock isn't getting any younger. If you do this, if you don't do this in uh, in um Texas, you can't do it in uh in freaking um. And Hollywood, because Rock is going to get old, real old. He's not getting any younger. I think this will be the perfect time to do the Rock versus Roman Reigns. This is the perfect time. This is the real perfect time. See you guys later. And I hope you... What do you guys think? See you guys later. Peace out. Love you guys.